here in our Rugby World Cup studio. We're joined by two former internationals. We have uh, James Forrester, formerly of England, and Brunei's first rugby captain, Steve Lai. Well, the Wallabies' defence was just so strong, and South Africa kind of showed themselves as a bit too one-dimensional. I mean, they complained a lot about the referee after the match, but the fact remains they couldn't break down the Wallaby defence despite the territory, the possession that they had, and having lack of a plan B really cost them in the end. And they even made some early decisions that may have worked against their favour. You saw Australia get that early try, and when South Africa had an early penalty, and they could have gone for post, there's still plenty of the game left, but they chose to go for the corner. They chose to go for the try to try and get parity back early on and they did that twice yeah that's right they were a disadvantage I mean they couldn't get their hands on the ball to start with and once you're on the back foot like that like we mentioned before the show if you give that much time and space for the All Blacks they're gonna punish you and that's exactly what happened they just couldn't get their hands on the ball and it cost them maybe that game against the South Africans just stretched them and tired them out as opposed to Argentina against New Zealand he just knows how to find the space and keep the tempo up and keep the ball moving in an open play. He's phenomenal at just drifting in and finding the spaces and Nonu, always the support player, right on his shoulder. You can see, throws the dummy, holds off Elsum, I think, with the tackle, goes around the last man and has the presence of mind to just pop the ball up as Nonu crashes over. And Corey Jane's got to get a mention. I mean, he every high ball that came his way, safe hands, even the balls when they were chasing, he was putting a lot of pressure on. They did very well, the back three of the All Blacks. Be very satisfied with that win. Uh, obviously, the loss of Carter was was a big one leading up to this game, but you know it didn't seem that way. And McCaw is you know 102 caps, immense pride. If anyone deserves to lift the Webellis Trophy, it's probably McCaw for his, his just his high standards of play for the last decade.